hi guys welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a get it all done video um it's the day before school it's sunday and on most sundays i tend to do all of these things anyway but it is a little different because i am trying a few new things so um, I hope you guys come along with me. My name is Jalisa. I do have three little girls. The littlest one is Zuri and she is in my arms right now. She's like looking so attently to what I am writing. <laughs> um, if she only knows that her mom goes like way overboard, I'm the type of person that would be like, my list of things to do or things to clean on a Sunday would be to scrub um, baseboards, um, declutter closets, <laughs> cook, and all types of stuff. But today I'm just trying to keep it simple of things that I think I can actually get done today. So here is my list. So get girls ready because they weren't ready yet. Pick out the clothes for the week, wash full clothes, cook three meals, school supplies, wash Marley's hair, just a whole bunch of things. And I did get most of those things done on that day. Right here, Zuri's being really fussy. So I'm trying to like start to clean the kitchen. We had waffles for breakfast. And yeah, so I'll just let you guys listen to some music while I feed her to kind of like calm her down. so this clip got mixed up while i was writing my list marley rose started to clean up that's my six year old she is just such the greatest helper in the world like the best big sister and i just like to start with by cleaning the kitchen and i needed to wash marley's hair so i wanted to like get the kitchen sink clean and zuri was just not behaving so i had to like tie her onto my back and she fell right to sleep you guys could see like she's knocked out it always happens it never feels like as soon as i tie her on she sleeps so run away run away I'm not trying to hurt you, but I will if I look at Marley Rosen. Look, look at my <laughs> she's sweeping, sweeping, and Noe is right there sleeping. And Noe is my three year old. Are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead. Baby, I'm a bike, oh, one bike. So before I started to like put those clothes in the dryer because I already started to wash a load of clothes, I decided to like kind of like clean out the, what's it called? The vents. And um, I used my vacuum piece to do that. If you guys are new here, um, you I'm sure you are hearing my accent. I am from the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas Virgin Islands. We were there for the about four months and we actually just came back. I was on maternity leave back home and I have lots and lots of videos for you guys to look and see what a great time we had. So now I'm washing Marley's hair and I bought that shampoo and conditioner like the day before and honestly I didn't really like how it felt and we normally use a different one and I ended up just going back the next day to buy some to buy the products that we normally use and I have to get the name for you guys I can't remember it right now <laughs> so basically here I'm about to do Marley's hair I just blow dried it and um Put some grease in it I guess and Zuri of course she wants to be with me everywhere that I am Zuri is actually about five months old in this video and she just wants to get into everything look at her she's just looking at everything 
and me and Marley, we were just having like a little chat. She was talking to me about, um, I guess about school the next day and how she felt. And you know how kids are. She needed to take a snack. She needed to get a snack and we just started. <laughs> but anyway, I have the number six up because she just turned six like the week before. So I actually kept it up for an entire month and yeah. So on my list, I did have cook three meals. And this is the first meal that I'm preparing. It's ground beef with spaghetti. And I'm really just like kind of throwing all of my different seasonings. I usually season most of my meats the same exact way. Um, so yeah, this is actually coming up on my third week, cooking three meals for the week. And it is so, so helpful. Um, I don't have to cook during the week. I just take something out of the fridge and we usually finish everything by the end of the week and it has been so helpful. second meal I'm making like beef stew and of course every time I leave I wash my hands because I don't want to contaminate the entire kitchen but I did clean it with water and vinegar and now I'm just like cutting off the fatty parts and cutting it up in small pieces so that it's easy to eat and it was so delicious let me tell you, you should know I don't care about the thing. so now I'm just basically seasoning it with like <laughs> almost everything um if you guys want another video with like detailed instructions of how i cooked it then let me know in the comments and now this is my um spaghetti that i'm just putting some butter in and i also season my spaghetti with like onion powder garlic powder pepper salt and i put butter in it and here's my meat that i seasoned up and i'm just cooking it now and letting it cook down a little bit and get before i put in like my sauces and stuff chicken i'm just seasoning up the oil with some garlic cloves and um you didn't see me clean the chicken or season it but i did just clean it the same way with um vinegar and the water and then i just scraped off like some of the like fatty stuff and then i seasoned it with basically the same stuff that i seasoned the beef with and honestly i didn't even know what type of sauce i was gonna do the chicken in until i started to like cook it so i just put some heavy whipping cream and then some poppy seed dressing and that's the creamy kind and then i put like some tomato sauce in it and um i think some coconut cream and we just ate it during the week with the spaghetti and honestly i didn't know how it was uh, sorry that is ziri <laughs> i didn't know how it was going to turn out but it was so delicious marley took it to school for lunch and her friend like when she opened her lunch box they, her friend was like marley that smells good and i'm like yes <laughs> But yes, yeah, so it turned out really good. That was like one of the best things during the week. Even though everything was really good, that was like one of the best meals. So I guess it was just a throw together meal and it turned out being like the best.
so this is something that i saw on pinterest that i thought i wanted to try instead of like getting the you know like the little drawers with the different days of the week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i ended up getting like those two containers from target and i put the girls like clothes in these little paper holder folder things <laughs> Anyway, so that worked out really well and I let them pick out their own clothes so nobody could come to me like, I don't want to wear this, I don't want to wear this. So here are all of their school supplies um, that I have and I ended up putting them in like a reusable Target bag so that they weren't like in her backpack like weighing her down in the morning. So that's Noe's school bag because this year she's also using a school bag. And I had like these little panda stickers that I wanted to put on the stuff but my printer wasn't working. So I ended up just putting like the little blank labels on so that the teacher could put like whatever subject the folder is for or the copy books are for. So I hope that worked out well. Um, anyway, so I also got the teacher like a little back to school gift. A little um, reusable bag Queen Boss teacher and Marley said that she really liked it so that was good and oh here is Marley's hair I didn't get to show you guys her hair the day before but I'm sure we will probably do this style again for like the school year so if you want me to show you guys a little tutorial because I'm a hair stylist let me know I did the rubber band um, method for the crochet and it turned out really cute and it's still going up until now so this is the day after on monday um the first day of school and i am just folding my clothes i started to just as soon as i take them out of the dryer i just fold them because i just folding clothes gives me anxiety so i'm like let me get it over with now and just do it and done you know do it and done do it and done anyway if you guys made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys feel motivated and ready to just get your sunday going anyway guys don't forget to like this video comment in this video and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications bell bye